Hey, it's Larry. How are you doing? Larry, great. How you doing, brother? Good. Hey, I didn't want to interrupt in the middle of that Eminem song. <laughs> no, <laughs> no worries, dude. Just sitting back down. Larry from Drinks with Larry. That is the one and only. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what, uh, what's up, dude? Nothing. What's going on with you guys? Thanks for having me on. No problem, dude. Thanks for coming on. How long have you been doing the show? Uh, we've been doing the show for about uh, a little over a year now, actually. Cool, cool. I, I thought it was longer. That, that's crazy. Crazy. No, we're just super professional and super good, so it seems longer. That's all. You guys are. You guys are. I've listened to a, <laughs> a bunch of them. What, um, how did you meet your co-hosts? Oh, the co-hosts? Yeah, I grew up with them, actually. So I've unfortunately known them for 15 to 16 years. Oh. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. And I decided to spend the rest of my life dealing with them, apparently. So it's great. It's so awesome. you're stuck. You got married to them, bro. What? <laughs> Basically, yeah. How do you uh, describe your show? Because on your Twitter pro profile, it says like a lot of sci-fi stuff, like Star Wars and all. But listen to the show; it's more like comedy. Yeah, it, we we started off as kind of a try to be a nerd theme show, and we were kind of going that route with comics and Star Wars and all that fun stuff. But it's turned into as it's grown and gone down the road, we've got more guests on doing more comedy spots, get more comedians on, um, having other guests on like wrestlers and UFC guys and stuff. And, uh, and the guy that you introduced us to Frankie. So thank oh, you for that. Yes. I love that. <laughs> I love that you guys had him on. I love, I love that he gave out his like directions to his home. Oh, wow. Oh, Frankie. <laughs> yeah. He, he actually has, he's become such a great guy that he's coming on again, like for the third time this year. And um, he's great. been giving us shout outs on other podcasts, which is awesome. Oh. So I'm really happy about that. You better be giving me shout outs. <laughs> yeah, he should be, yeah. <laughs> no, he oh, is. Yeah, no, he's Frank great. is a good guy. He is great. I, I loved I, I heard the first one you guys had him on. It was so good. So good. Larry, have you heard oh, of yeah, him? No, yeah. Had you heard Go of ahead. him before uh, Before Rob introduced you to him? Did you Have you ever heard of him before or no? I saw his YouTube videos, obviously. Yeah. And then. You know, I was sitting there and I'm like, oh, well, who's this guy? And then you, and then I saw you guys interviewed him and I was like, oh, they know Frankie. I got to get Frankie on. So <laughs> I reached out to Rob and then you guys were like, oh yeah, you can absolutely have him. I was yes. like, awesome. Oh yeah. No, I love it. I, I love that he's doing the rounds. I think he's been on, um, who's right. He's been on the who's right podcast. I don't know if they've, uh, come back since D Doug had his house, uh, destroyed in that hurricane. But, um, I, I, I know, I know. And I know he does bass guy. He does a lot of shows. He does a lot of cool shows. He's a great Yeah, Frankie guy. gets around, yeah. Yeah. He does, and he's a master of promotion, man. He definitely gets his plugs oh, in there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Larry, Absolutely. on your show, do you guys do you guys drink? Uh, yeah, we do drink. Uh, we actually just had a we just had a Mad Dog taste test the other day, and that was uh that was kind of interesting cuz Mad Dog now has different flavors of Mad Dog and it comes in tall boys. So, if you're looking for get your malt liquor fix, it comes in Aluminum cans now. I was gonna ask. I was gonna ask what Mad Dog is. I thought that was more like a liquor. Uh, yeah, it's a malt liquor, and uh, some uh, company out of New York sent us a uh, taste testing kit, so we tried it on the show, and uh, everybody's been drinking it, and it's like gasoline. So great, <laughs> <Lovely>. nice. <laughs> Have you ever uh, been yeah. told you drink too much? Because we had a, a certain intern after he left the show, he's like, "They drink too much." <laughs> oh, he told you guys you drink too much. He oh, told yeah. well, someone we to, else. We technically had to stop drinking on the show, but you know. <laughs> Are you guys pregame? Uh, well, it's it's more of a pregame or after because if we we found that if we drank on the show, nothing got done and it just turned into a mess. So we had to kind of keep it, you know, almost like a job. Unfortunately. Slim's not drinking anymore. I don't know what happened to him. Yeah, no, it just, I don't know why I just stopped. I'm drinking a beer right now because <laughs> I because I have a caffeine headache, and I'm like, I know what I could do to fix my caffeine headache. I'll drink beer. <laughs> yeah, you fix it with something else, obviously. Smoke some pills, Slim. Let's smoke some pills. Exactly. Some bus pills. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Smoke some pills. That makes sense, yeah. <laughs> I was going to ask, uh, besides uh, Frankie, who's been one of your favorite guests you've had on, Larry? Uh, well, we actually had Ken Shamrock on just recently. Wow. And, uh, yeah, we had Ken Shamrock come on, and then we had Buff Bagwell come on a couple months ago, and those two have been pretty good. Cool. Um, 
I was shocked to get them, obviously. I didn't even think they'd say yes, but they did. Yeah. What was your interview um, with Shamrock like? Because I think the last one I heard him on was an Opie and Anthony interview years ago, and he was just, like, kind of broken at that point. Like, I think he had dealt with um, addiction and all, and he just sounded, like, really sad. Oh, yeah, no, this one, it was a lot of fun, actually. He he was actually at his, his grandkids' softball game for half the interview, which was kind of funny. Wow. And then uh, the rest of the interview, he was basically in his – driveway at his house but he was he made fun of us he was joking around with us it was a great time it was, cool. he was uh he was very he was talking about his new business venture and uh basically just talking about how he'd still jump in the ring and break people's legs like a maniac dude like, he's, yep, he's done it all right. yeah. fucking uh olympic gold medalist uh wwe and uh ufc man he's done it all yeah the only thing he's mad about, the thing he regrets the most is he did, he hasn't got the heavyweight title in uh, WWE, so he wants to get back in WWE. And so. <sighs> but he told us some great stories about the behind the scenes of The Rock and Mankind and all this stuff. So it was it was oh, pretty cool. That's so cool. I, I loved him. I loved that. Like, I don't know. I used to watch and I used to love the guys that everyone hated. And then, like, within a few weeks, all my friends loved them, too. Like, I loved him. I loved I Shamrock so much. He's scary. Even talking to him on the phone, we kept telling him, we're like, you're terrifying. He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're like, you're, you're absolutely terrifying to talk to on the phone, sir. Like, he's just. <laughs> wow. Wow. He's like, yeah, 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 because he's heard that probably all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he was he was basically talking. Like, we're like, how many legs have you broken? He goes, in a row? And we're like, I guess, yeah, in a row, sir. How many have you broken in a row? And he said, three. We're like, what? three? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, he's uh, and then between him and then between him and it's totally different. Then we had Buff Bagwell on, and he was a great guest, but he had all these great stories about the WWF back then, back in the day. So it was, it was great to hear. They were kind of in at the same time, so it was it was good to hear both sides of it. But yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, nice. Did any did any of them uh, talk about Vince? Oh yeah, no. When they talk about Vince, they talk about Vince. They love Vince. Everybody, okay. nobody badmouths Vince. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say. I was they gonna all want to come back. Nobody <laughs> wants nobody badmouths them. Yeah, they all want to come back. <laughs> do you know who the next? Do you guys do interviews every week, Larry? Like, do you know who your next interview is gonna be? I don't want to ask you to tell us, but do you know? Oh no, we yeah. I tr next week, I, I'm not sure who we've got next week, but I know in a couple weeks we've got a comedian coming on, Amy Lyle, and she's basically like the next Tina Fey. So if you haven't checked her out. She's got a couple books out, and she's coming. She's calling in. Cool. Um, and then after that, we got Frankie coming back. Obviously, we got him um, on uh, Halloween. Then, oh, that's awesome. Who? We got him on Halloween. We got Frankie coming on. Oh, nice. That'll be a great episode. Yeah, <laughs> I'll look forward to that one. <laughs> yeah, no, we but we have uh, we have other podcasts on. Like, I want to get you guys on. Obviously, we have like Married AF comes on quite a bit. Um, they're a lot of fun. They're a great podcast to have on. Who? Oh, married as fuck. Yeah, we just had them on. I think last week. Yeah, right? yep. last yeah, week, yeah they, they were they're, awesome. They're yeah. amazing people. Um, I love that uh, you guys. I don't know who the female on your show is, but she has the mansplaining bell. Like I just, I have the bell. Oh. So whenever any of you guys mansplain <laughs> to her, she just rings a bell. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, we we want to be a progressive podcast. So we got her. Uh, one of our patreons actually bought her a bell. So every time a guy talks over her, she rings a bell. So it's kind of <laughs> kind of a new thing we're bringing. So. Like, I feel like Slim would just be ringing that the whole show <laughs> if he had one, if she had one. <laughs> yeah, the episode coming out this week, we had to take the bell away from one of the other guests, so it got kind of, yeah. Oh, it does. It was a lot of ringing. Guests, guests reach in for the bell. I know that. I've, I've had it happen. Oh, yeah. Right, yeah. We've had a few. Like, yeah, no, you just, you got to get a bell sometimes. You, you, you grab it. <laughs> I was going to ask you, it Larry. Through, it cuts through the cheddar. No? It does. It does. Um... I know you said you've uh, gotten away from like sci-fi stuff, but what is as a Star Wars fan? What is your favorite movie of all time? Of all time? Mm. Oh man, I know you're probably expecting me to say Empire Strikes Back. I'm saying Rogue One, dude. I pr oh yeah, Rogue One was good. So good. Um, I I would I would basically say out of all of them, I would prob I actually I, I hate to say, it, but I kind of like A New Hope. Um, wow. And then I like the original trilogy pretty much. I, I like all of them, but it's uh, if I have to watch any of them, I'd go back to the original trilogy. Yeah. I don't know how old you are, Larry, but when I was a kid, um, before, like, Surround Sound was big and all, I remember there'd be, like, you know, UPN 9 playing the movie, and a uh, radio station would have, would have the audio at the same time, so you could play it on, like, you know, your component 
uh, stereo at the same time and hear it all around the house. It was pretty cool. Pretty cool. Yeah, no, I, I'm I'm pre-internet, so don't worry. I know okay. what you're talking about. Yeah, we're analog. We're <laughs> <laughs> yeah, cool. we're that generation that got we got screwed. We got born right in the middle of no internet and internet. So yeah, <laughs> our childhoods were no fun. So I actually think uh, Return of the Jedi was always my favorite one, and that's like an unpopular opinion, but I love Return of the Jedi. Yeah, yeah I do. I love I love the I loved all of them. I think like the second one, no. Yeah, Empire Strikes Back. My Spy, favorite. But... Jedi was the one with the Ewoks. Well, right? yeah, Empire. Yeah, with the Ewoks. A lot of people don't I like Jedi, one, but I too, love though. that. Yeah, they were all good. All good. Yeah, no, Jedi Jedi was a great one. The, the whole scene with Luke and, and Vader on the on Endor. When the, I mean, if you really want me to go down a rabbit hole, but, you know, I thought that was one of one scene that was really spoke to me as a child. So. Yeah. <laughs> and what uh, do you play video games, Larry? I play video games. I play board games, yes. I'm an Xbox cool. guy. I was going to ask, Xbox or uh, PlayStation. I'm still on PS3. I still haven't jumped. <laughs> I'm waiting for PS5. I'm waiting for the next one, bro. Yeah, hold on. Hold on. Just keep holding on. <laughs> it's coming. I'm a Nintendo no, guy. I'm like, I, I, got... I like that. Oh, do you have a Switch? Yeah, I got a Switch. Yep. I got the Switch for my kids. Yeah, that I got... was the last thing I grabbed. Yeah, I got a Switch, too, and I had to buy a Switch for my son because we were basically fighting over it so i just figured i'll buy you a switch too so now we both have one cool cool well that's what i did like i said i i'm still on the ps3 but like my kids come first man and they they hadn't had a system since the wii so i'm like i gotta the switch looks so cool i'm like i gotta get him that i gotta get oh that. it's perfect for him yeah it's cool and still like one can play the wii because they still play all those games and one can play the switch like it's great mm-hmm for that um yeah and all they play is fortnite that's all i want to do <laughs> that's my middle son man he's i was all gonna about say are, are they into the fortnite william is yeah okay. and ewan doesn't like it and i don't think levi does but yeah william is all about fortnite oh well that's good yeah as long as not all of them are because then you know my kids are and they do all the dances and the everything it's obsessive yeah, it's crazy. <laughs> i was surprised my younger uh cousins are like 13 and 14 they don't like fortnite i forget what their reasoning was but they're like yeah that game sucks they're wow. like not into it they're big like skyrim fans that's what my oldest like, said he's like, like yeah i hate that game daddy yeah but yeah like my middle oh, son's well, all skyrim's bad. way better than that so mm. yeah larry are you also a comedian i am a comedian yes how long have you been doing that for uh, it's actually been a little, almost three years now. Cool, cool. And what what is your act like? Uh, well, my act is pretty self-deprecating, so it's kind of uh, easy for me to do. Cool. Uh, but I I just been I yeah just pretty much my telling stories about my kids and my girlfriend and you know yeah. So, uh, that's cool. Yeah, that's I'll, the best I'll stuff. Don't always go right. So. When when it's when stories from your real life, it can't be can't be duplicated. That's the best stuff. Yeah, no, and kids, obviously, if you guys have kids, you know that they uh, they provide usually the best entertainment. They do. They got some <laughs> they got some crazy shit. How old are your kids? Uh, eight and nine, I think. Yeah, eight and nine, <laughs> yeah. I remember we went out <clears throat> to uh, Burger King one year, uh, Slim, me and my sons, and the intern that said I drank too much. <laughs> um, but they were, we had the Burger King crowns, and, like, my middle son was putting it on people, you know, was putting on my older son. I think he put it on Slim. But then I, there was an old guy behind us, and I pointed to him. And I guess he took that on himself to just turn around and scream at the guy, Hey, old man, what are you eating for your fat lunch? And I was like, I, I was cracking up on the inside, but I was like, William, you say so say you're sorry like <laughs> but oh yeah, my god situations that's exactly what i'm talking about yes <laughs> it's those it's those situations man and then like i think afterwards we were outside and he proceeded to go on a like a 20 minute rant of all these jokes and all this like crazy like stuff and it was so funny so much fun yeah, usually, usually the, that's where the, my best material comes from, or um, me totally embarrassing myself in front of my girlfriend. So that's usually where ninety nine percent of my stuff comes from. Cool, cool. But it works. It's relatable. So. <laughs> Who I want to ask you too the bumper sticker. You guys were talking about a bumper sticker last week on your show, and it said about people burning in hell, I think, right? Oh the, no, we were talking about the billboard. Oh, it's a billboard. Yeah, because what does it say? Yeah, we live in Ohio. Yeah, we live in Ohio, so if you drive down to southern Ohio, you can kind of run into Bible country real quick. And one Ooh. of the billboards says you're going to 
hell is real and that's where you're going to go or something like that. Yeah. What? Because, <laughs> you know. Just a billboard telling yeah, you you're a piece Jersey, of shit. Right? Yeah. yeah, we're in Jersey, but I, I don't know if I saw it on TV. I, I got a number on my phone uh, weeks ago. I can't remember, like I said, if it was a commercial or if it was a billboard, but it said, are you going to heaven or hell? And had a phone number. And I've been saving it to, like, call on the show. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. Yeah, you guys definitely should call it. That'd be a great number to call, actually. <laughs> yeah. I wonder, like, does it give you... I where I'm going. Yeah, I, I, yeah, does it give you a quiz, or does it just, like... No, by your phone number. <laughs> On a where scale of one yeah. to ten, from a smiley face to a franny face, how do you feel about hell? <laughs> yeah, how many sins have you committed this week, sir? <laughs> I figure it just judges you by your area code. Yeah, so like, I, yeah, that area code, you're going to hell. <laughs> you're a sodomite. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, no, that's that was uh, it, living because you guys are out in New Jersey, right? Yeah. Yeah, so you guys don't have too many Bible thumpers out there, do you? Mm, uh, it, we, we're in South Jersey, so you got to mix. You got to yeah. mix. In this town, where we are right now, there's a lot. There's a decent amount of churches and a lot of... There's a lot of racists a lot out of, here, Larry. A lot of oh, yeah, yeah. Racists. Well, there's a lot of racists everywhere, unfortunately. <laughs> but, yeah. Yes. yes. <laughs> I love, too, Larry, I love some of your titles uh, on your shows. One of my favorites was uh, Our Mutant Powerist. Our mutant power is sadness. Oh yeah, <laughs> that was our X Men episode where we where we kept talking about what mutant powers we had, and we kept figuring out that we would just be total losers and not know how to use them. So, <laughs> yeah, that's where that came from. <laughs> that is. That's... Like I said, we've we've all known each other for so long that we, if you listen to the show, um, you can kind of tell there's really no holding back on comments, and we all know each other really, really well, so we know what to say and how to hurt each other pretty well. So. <laughs> oh, that's where that there, comes from. Has there ever been a fight on the show? Oh yeah, there was a fight uh, just a couple episodes ago. I gotta hear. I gotta hear. It was that over. Now. I think it was the UFC episode. There was a. I think there was a small fight, and then there was a couple other episodes. There's been fights that have broken out on the show, but you know we try to keep it as civil as possible. But yeah, yeah it's like a. It's like a relationship. You know, yeah. things are gonna bubble up. We had that early on. I think I threw a chair. Not on the show, but <laughs> you did I threw throw a chair, chair at me. Because <laughs> we used to work together. But, I, but like, I deserved un- it. So <laughs> yeah, let's be clear. Yeah. I, I was a cunt. I did deserve it. So He wouldn't get bare bottom spanked. And that yeah. was what. And then it just made me mad and I threw a chair. <laughs> well, it, I don't think it was so much that I refused to do the bit, but I insulted you. Like I called yeah. you a hack, I'm pretty yeah. sure. <laughs> Which yeah. is shitty. Like back then I was very critical and I think I would like kind of insult you a lot back then because I was a cunt. I don't know. And that's what I did. Like I would kind of like, I don't know. I don't know what it was, but yeah, I, I do remember like calling you a hack or saying your bit was hacky. I, yeah. And I think I've done it. I think I did it like three or four times. I don't think it was just that one time. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, at least you admitted you said it. That's oh, good. yeah. yeah. That's Give me your chair. Thing. You're growing. Chair. Yeah. 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 That's good. Yeah. I remember I apologized to somebody else. I was like, I'm sorry if the chair came close to you. But I meant to hit Slim with it. <laughs> That's hilarious. I don't think you ever told me that. That's funny. Oh, man. Oh, jeez. Oh, Larry, see what you've done to us? Yeah, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I, I was hoping maybe you guys would have a moment there where you started admitting what you really wanted to talk about that you don't talk about behind the scenes. That's no, what I, was I, I don't I, think I there's did. anything nowadays that, like... So what's funny about that is I did have a dream last night that we got in a fight. You you got pissed off about something that I did, and it was something that... It was shitty, whatever it was I did. I just remember I was, like, being a cunt, and you were like, <laughs> fuck you, and then, it, like, my dream just went into this whole thing of how we just weren't talking. And I've had weird dreams that, about yeah. the show. I had once where uh, our, our intern, he's off right now, but he comes in every few months of a year, and uh, for some reason we had a guest on, and I told him to take a picture of us, and I gave him my digital camera, and he started spitting on it. <laughs> And uh, he started fun. spitting on it. Yeah, he just started spitting like loogies on my camera, and I'm like, "Bro, that's my camera!" <laughs> and he wouldn't stop, so I just slapped something off a shelf, and that's it. That's all. <laughs> that's all I did. And then there was a couple times like I had I've had dreams where like we were we're here, but we don't like we're supposed to be doing the show, but we're not. It's weird. It's a weird dream. Mm. It's like 
Interesting. Oh, that was the dream. That's why you were pissed off at me because, like, I just decided I wasn't going to do a show. Like, on Wednesday, I was just like, yeah, no, I don't feel like doing it. That's and, weird. like, you, yeah. showed, you showed up and I was like, get the fuck out of my house. I don't even oh know my why. God. But, like, yeah. Wow. And then <laughs> that was it. Give me a chair. Yeah, you should throw a chair at me for that. <laughs> <laughs> It sounds like you guys have some repressed issues. Uh, yeah, yeah. We, show, need, we need a uh, psychologist. I think an episode. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever had a dream, Larry, about the show? Like, it, it's weird. Or like a work dream. Sometimes yeah. you have a dream about work and you're like, fuck, now i got to go to work. I just wasted my whole night dreaming about the place. Oh, yeah, no, I've had work dreams a lot. The only dreams I ever had about the show are the show actually, like, being successful or something. That's oh. the only really dream I have. See, I don't have that. Yeah, I, I was going to say, I never had a dream about us being successful. <laughs> I was trying to be as cliche as possible. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. My only dreams are to be better. <laughs> the dream, though, we were interviewing Ron and Fez. Like, that was, that was great. Oh, that's cool. I remember we had Ron and Fez. We had them live in studio. And then I gave Slambo my camera to take a picture. And he just started, like, <laughs> spitting on it. I was like, Whoa. Bro. Bro. Oh That's, my god. He's a fucking piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what has been your favorite episode so far of your show, Larry? The, our favorite episode of our show? Yeah. Um it I have to say the last show we had actually and I hate to say him again, but when I had married as fuck on, that was probably one of my our favorite shows. We just recently had him on a couple weeks ago. Um, awesome. And that was a blast. It was just like the whole time we've known them since we got started and uh, we've developed a great relationship with them and they come on and it's just like having family on and we just all can bullshit around and we have a great time. Nice. Nice. And uh, what do you have planned for the next episode? Bes- oh, who'd you say? Uh, well, our next, next interview, well, our next episode we've got next, next week. I think we've got somebody coming on. I'm not sure. I don't remember who, but we've got, like I said, Amy Lyle's coming up. And then uh, the, the only big announcement we really have right now is we're kind of teaming up with Married a- as Fuck and starting a new uh, podcast network. Oh, so cool. that's in the works right now. Awesome, dude. Awesome. That's very yeah, cool. So we're trying to try to make it big. What is, what does uh, running a network entail? I don't know yet. If you find that out, though, let me know because that's what we're working on. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> We've been on some and some have kicked us off. That's yeah, all I know. That's all yeah. I know. <laughs> I have thought of, like, I don't think I've ever brought it up to Rob, but it, I have thought of, like, starting our own network, like a Robin's network. I've thought of that, too, or, It'd like, even an inter- internet radio station where, like, yeah, we yeah. just play friend shows or something like that. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I think that would be a lot. A lot. A lot well, maybe we, need, maybe we need maybe we need to talk then. Ooh. Yeah. Slim, give me your number. That would yeah, be I will. Yeah, uh, yeah. Give, him, <laughs> give him my number. I'm down to, like. No, that, that would be like, cool. Yeah. yeah, that would be amazing. Amazing. Yeah, I, I don't that know. That could definitely be something we should talk about. Cool. Yeah, yeah awesome. I think I think the live internet radio would be cool, kind of like what our friend uh, Will does. That we're we're on his uh, 106 uh, the blast, but something like that. IPM, would be really neat, all yeah. Of it, yeah. IPM, yep. IPM Nation, all of it, all of it. Yeah, that'd be that'd be really cool. Larry, thank you yeah, so would, much. Sorry. Dude. Well, we'll talk. Yes, yeah, definitely. Thanks for talking to us, dude. Oh, no problem. Thanks for having me on the show. I really appreciate it. That flew by. (laughs) It did fly. Uh, Where can everybody find you? Uh, You can find me on Twitter at Drinks with Larry, on Instagram, Drinks with Larry, uh, www.drinkswithlarry.com. Pretty much anywhere you can find uh, social media stuff, you can find. Just type in Drinks with Larry, and you'll be able to find us. I love that you got your name on the show and nobody else did. Yeah, I know that was that was really dumb on their part, but hey, they stuck with it, so whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Larry. Yeah. Have a good one, dude. Uh, uh, you too. Have a good night, guys. You too, Take brother. Care, Larry.